The outbreak of COVID-19, a global pandemic, has continued to place the world's economy on its knees. Zambia's economy has also not been spared due to the partial lockdowns and restricted travels to high-risk countries. On Wednesday, 25th of March 2020, President Ed Galungu issued a directive on public gatherings, including churches, bars and nightclubs, to halt their operations. His move has received mixed reactions from concerned citizens. One of them is a local gospel artist, John Zmwale, who makes his living through musical performances. Mr. Mwale has commended government for the move but appeals to the government stakeholders to issue a directive to hold receiving bills until the pandemic is fully fought. Some serious concerns as an artist and as a concerned Zambian citizen. Uh, I want to bring this to our attention that most of Zambians, uh, they survive through business and entrepreneurship. And the business that we do is hand to mouth. So with what uh, the government has told the citizens to remain indoors in order to avoid spread um, coronavirus, this uh, will bring chaos in the country. Therefore, I want to make a request or a submission to the government, especially the Department of Council, Council Department, to consider these points I'm about to stress here. One, Zambians are not working at the moment. But as a council, you expect them to pay bills, like water bills and landlords. Those who have got shops, you expect them to pay. But they are not working. Where are they going to get the money from? My appeal to government under the Department of Council, please consider some uh, suspensions. If you can suspend the bills as a council so that citizens cannot pay because they have no time to work. Right now, as I talk to you, as I address you, some citizens don't even have food to eat. Please consider my appeal. And I believe that this appeal concerns all Zambian citizens. Mr. Mwale has also gone on his knees to appeal to the Minister of Information and Broadcasting Services, Dora Celia, to reverse her move on withdrawing relations with Prime Television. As Zambians, we love Prime TV so much because it's doing uh, a tremendous job and we appreciate their services as a country therefore i want to make a request to the government especially through the minister of information madam dora syria your honor mama please we ask of you to consider the apology mr shower made because we can't afford to live without prime tv Biblically, it's believed that when someone apologizes from deep down his heart, especially publicly, that apology must be accepted. The local artist says Prime TV has contributed massively in the country, including offering quality information to its audience. For Movie TV News in Lusaka, Namwinga Mwinga.